What's good? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We back with the Boston Clinic and um, final thoughts and some weigh-in reaction and some information on this fight going on in Germany um, between Jeremy and Brammer. Sorry if I butchered his name and Robert Brandt. Um, they weighed in this morning. Uh, Robert Brandt weighed in on the even 166 pounds. Jeremy Brammer weighed in at 166.8 pounds. Both uh, make the 168-pound limit. Uh, Brammer is coming down from 175. Well, last time he lost to Nathan, Nathan Cleverly had to retire due to an injury. Um, I left, I did a prediction video on this already. I'm gonna link it in the description. So if you want to watch the prediction video, see, you know how I broke it down. On, you know, I'm gonna tell you who I picked in this video anyway. But how I broke it down. You can go ahead and watch it, but both make weight. Both look solid. You know, Brammer coming down from 175, like I said, um, where he had to retire. I think he, a lot of people said he quit, and Nathan Preble set the pace too high for him. Um, he, he, that was his most, one of his most notable fights, other than fighting, um, you know, the guy that, that Joe Kalzaki knocked out in round one, Mario Vent. It's one of his other notable fights who he lost to. Um, this guy, you know, fought 50 plus fights, I believe, and, you know, he really ain't fought the hottest competition. Um, you know, a lot of guys on the thread said he avoided, avoided anybody that was anybody. And, uh, Robert Brandt gonna have a chance to show his class in this, uh, you know, division and, and make his 168 pound debut. Um, if you don't know, Robert Brandt was a guy who fought at 160, who was coming up the rankings, who was going to be the regular WBA mandatory to Ryota and Nadam. Nadam won a highly controversial decision, so they sanctioned the rematch. And Ryota just won it, uh, this past Sunday in, uh, in Japan. And now, uh, you know, Robert Brent would have been a mandatory for that fight, but he didn't want to wait around, so he took his destiny in his own hands, and he got himself in this tournament. He's the only American in the cruiser or the super middleweight side of this tournament. And, you know, what's funny is he got to go over to Germany. It had been a couple fights in the World Boxing Super Series that's been over in, in, in San Antonio and New Jersey, which was in the cruiserweight division. So, you know, you know they're going to make the American travel. No doubt about it. He don't have a big, large fan base in America anyway. Um, most of his fights, you know, Robert Brandon has been in um, uh, Minnesota. He fought a one time in Arizona, a couple times in Cali, maybe somewhere else. So that's an uphill battle for him. You know, going on the road, he's saying the right thing, saying that um, I would, you know, I'm, I'm going to be fine under the lights. I could fight anywhere. This ain't going to be nothing. But until you walk out that tunnel and see, you know, 10, 15, 20,000 fans rooting against you, you get the anxiety, you get the butterflies when when the fight comes. Uh, we'll see how he performs then. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a shakeout period for him, a warm-up period for him. Johan Brammer is a dude that's basically at home in Germany. Um, he got the advantages, um, and we know that. We know that it was going to put the American in a messed-up position because they didn't want any Americans in this tournament. I don't care what nobody say, and now they're crying and why they can't get on American TV. Um uh, get an American TV network slot because you don't have no Americans in there nobody even care or know about. You know, when it's time for Robert Brent to make a name for itself, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, small strategy talk. Um, if, you know, but if you haven't seen Yerman Brummer fight, um, he's not an upright, stiff European guy. Um, you know, he, he kind of bends over, moves his head, keeps his backhand home. I think he's a southpaw. He moves his head, he gets low. Um, he, you know, he throws some straight punches. Um, he's nothing spectacular. He doesn't seem to be a huge puncher at 175 or 168. Um, he's a solid, solid guy. You know, um, he doesn't like a high pace. I seen that in the Cleverly fight. Even Cleverly had feather fisted hands. He was able to push this guy to the, to the brink and the limit. He was very red before he did tap out of that fight. And, uh, for Robert Brandt, it's going to be all about beating the body down and setting the pace high. You know, I think that's what he got to do. And I think he got to go over there with the mind, the mind, set to um to destroy and knock out. I understand he said he's not looking for the knockout, but if you're going over to Germany and over to another country, I think you should be you know, you know, trying to get the knockout from the beginning. And um you know, this guy's coming down and weight at thirty nine years old. Uh Robert Brandt is going up in weight, so it makes for an interesting, you know, matchup. You know what I'm saying? We don't know if Brent gonna still have that same pop as he had at one sixty because it, quite frankly he never even stepped up at one sixty for real to the to the contender level in my opinion or you know let alone the world title level and um at 168 you know he took a you know he took a gamble on himself to go up eight more pounds which isn't which isn't an easy jump and uh take on Johan Bremer who's coming down so it makes it interesting um you know both guys gonna have a shot to win this 
um, because we don't really know what type of class Robert Brand is. But we know Derrick James is one of the hottest trainers going right now, and we pretty sure we gonna he gonna have Robert Brand ready to go. Brand has some good speed, some good movement, um, a lot of power at 160. We gonna see if he got a lot of power at 168, at least respectable power. And he's very confident, feeling like he can go in a tournament. And why wouldn't you be confident? Nobody picked him to fight. He got a place with your hand Berman. You know, nobody picked these these guys to fight. So, basically, they're the most avoiding in the tournament right now. I wouldn't say they're the most talented, but they're the most avoiding, and that's for a reason. Um, and they're ready to go. I'm pretty sure both ready to go. Um, you know, it's going to be a speed discrepancy between fighters. It's going to be Robert Brand going to have a better speed, the better better feet. But Brammer is very crafty in there. He got a he good head movement, get low. And he, his hands ain't that quick, but, you know, it gets home, and that's what counts as long as you hit your opponent. Um, and, you know, we'll see how the weight affects both. You know, coming down to 39 years old and you're hearing Brammer to 175, to I mean 175 to 168, that's going to be a tough, tough, um, it's going to be tough. It's going to be a tough feat. You know, I know he used to fight at 168 a time ago, but when you're 39 years old and they ask you to come down to weight, I think that's a tough, 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 tough feat to come through. And Robert Brent moving up eight pounds, you know, um, he looks solid. Um, but where will the speed, where the power translate? Um, you know, will he still be a, a fully functional fighter at 168? Or will it be a filling out period for him at that weight? Um, and he looked like he moved up okay in a weight. Um, and being away from home. You know, he fought a lot of his fights at home. But this fight will be going on at... Uh, 4:45 Eastern Standard Time in the United States. Um, you used to can find these fights on the World Boxing Super Series tournament, but some reason your website, but for some reason it hasn't been working. So um, it's gonna be free on IFTV. I think ITV, IVTV, or IFL TV box office. I remember, can't remember what it is in the UK. Um, and on Sky, if you got an APK with Sky, um, it's gonna be showing for free uh, around 4:45 in the afternoon. And, um, you know, look about 6.45 to look for the results if you can't see it. Um, but remember, the World Boxing Super Series tournament usually carries it, but it hasn't been carrying it lately. But check their uh, website first and register.